are here today for another installation of Style Editor. And we're here at the launch for Sperry and Gray Malin launch at Colette store. And this is Gray Malin. Hello. So, where are you from? Um, I live in Los Angeles, California. Okay. And it's a pleasure to be here in Paris. Okay. But where are you originally from? I'm originally from Dallas. Okay. Texas. Um, uh, which is a very cool and transitional city um, and definitely people in Dallas love their fashion so okay. rubbed off maybe a bit. Okay, so why are you in Paris? I'm in Paris for um, celebration of a collaboration I'm doing on a pair of shoes mm -hmm. uh, or a, a collection of shoes with Sperry and also for um, an exhibition of uh, my work at Colette, mm -hmm. um, which is very exciting. And what is your work at Colette? What do you do? Explain to us what do you really do? So I'm a fine art photographer and um, I create work all over the world that um, is meant to hang in the home as art. So I call myself truly a fine art photographer. Um, my work ranges, I've shot on all seven continents and um, I think my philosophy is I want people to, to feel that every day can be a getaway or an escape when they look at an image of mine. And uh, I think the most famous body of work that I've shot is um, of beaches from above, uh, from all over the world. So uh, the series is called A La Plage mm -hmm. and it is um, one of the two bodies of work on display in Colette right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's an image of a beach from each country, I mean, sorry, each continent. Um, and then downstairs is a collection of images um, called Up and Away, and they feature balloons that I've shot um, in the Caribbean. And um, they are a lot of fun, definitely very whimsical. Okay, so why did you feel it was time to do a collaboration? Why did you go after the collaboration? Um, I've been wearing Sperry's for pretty much my whole life and um, I found myself during some of my aerial photo shoots where I'm leaning out of the helicopter, my feet would be dangling and um, when social media started to get larger, I took out my iPhone and snapped a shot of my, my, my Sperry's dangling above the beach and I shared it on social media and it really gave people this perspective of um, the height and it inspired me to reach out to Sperry and say how cool would it be if we could maybe create a collaboration where my art is on the shoe and then we could maybe shoot an image of my feet hanging above the beach wearing the shoes so you can see instantly the inspiration that's on the shoe and um, I also really love the brand, so that's how this collaboration came to be. Okay. And why. So how, how did you decide which photographs to put on the shoe? Uh, what well, was the final process? It was a <laughs> truly collaborative with Sperry. Um, we, um, we chose three different images from three very different places in the world to give sort of a, a global sense of the the beach and um, the images I think really translate well to pattern so you have these really bright fun colorful beach umbrellas from Lisbon on one you have the waves of Cape Town South Africa that um, are really kind of beautiful and, and abstract on uh, another and then the last is um, a black and white image from Sicily that's sort of got that timeless Italian beach Dolce feel Vita. and it yeah the Dolce Vita it feels appropriate for like an urban shoe like the lace up so Sperry and I really worked together to create that and they you know there was a lot of input so it's just fantastic okay so where's your favorite place to be in the world man um my favorite place to go besides my own home, which I really truly love, is uh, Cape Town, South Africa. And South Africa in general, something about it, and I just, I really, I feel at peace there. Mm -hmm. um, I really wish I could get there quicker from LA. It's 
so far, mm -hmm. but um, I love Cape Town. Okay, so, so you realized that social media was important, right? So what's your favorite social media application or tool and why do you use it? Well, um, it's kind of an obvious answer. Um, as a photographer, I took an immediate liking to Instagram when it came out. Though at the time it was pictures of like, you know, my dog, but in a cool way <laughs> and for fun. Um, but it evolved and um, it's still something, I mean, I, I probably shoot more images with my iPhone than with my Canon or Nikon. It's just, they fit in my, you know, it fits in my pocket. And um, it has become in incredibly important. People, um, people can connect so quickly with a moment um, that way. And it's so great for sharing what I do, which is capturing the idea of escape and adventure and just giving it, you know, daily as like for fun, you know, come escape with us and come be a part of the, the Grand Malin lifestyle, the brand that this was built around, um, which is photography. So it's also fun to share your travels. Okay. So are you on Snapchat? I am on Snapchat. Ooh. It's, um, it's a lot of work to like remember to video and, you know, I think um, it's fun. But when I travel, I really try to look and enjoy and think. And I think with all these applications, you can get almost like you're not even seeing what you're supposed to. You need to just. So I'm a slow one to Snapchat, but um, I recently did a whole story where I flew in one day to um, Park City, Utah, to do a shoot over the mountains. And I flew back to L.A. and it was really fun. And I think everyone enjoyed it. So. Um, we're, we're hoping to do more, but Snapchat's really interesting. It's like... I, I, it's totally interesting, and I, I've changed what I Snapchat, because as you get new followers, you gotta change what you Snapchat. Really? Because when I first started Snapchatting, it was just for like me and my friends. Oh, uh, yeah. And now, like, major brands are following my Snapchat, so I can't Snapchat my whole life. Because you always have to understand who's watching you. But I think it's fun because I like doing it when I'm at a fashion show because I can say snarky things about people in Snapchat and then it disappears. Oh, yeah. So that's why I like it. <laughs> I like it. But you know, and it's just, it's like I hate Facebook, so it's less, I think it's less invasive of sharing my day. If you want to see what we're doing today, you can check out our Snapchat. That's fun. What's your Snapchat? Um, Cha Cha New York City 007. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. What's your Snapchat? Uh, mine is Gray Malin. Easy. But I should change that up to. I was thinking about changing mine to the website because, like I said, I started Snapchat when I didn't think it was going to go as viral as it did. But now, like, major luxury brands and major editors are on Snapchat showing their life, their daily life. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a great thing because it's just like, like at, um, during backstage, for example, at a fashion show, you really can't show pictures in real time on Instagram. And for me, Instagram is Instagram, real time. Mm -hmm. It's instant. So Snapchat, you can show behind the scenes because it'll disappear and the designer won't get mad at you because you showed the collection. Because <laughs> it's on Snapchat. So another question is, if you were a superhero, mm -hmm. what would your superpower be? Oh man, um, I haven't been asked that question in a long time. Um, I think it would be amazing, I guess, to fly. Clearly I have a fascination with, you know, viewing the world from a different perspective. So that would be pretty amazing. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a good quality to have in your life for you, make things easier for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so if you could give advice to a young photographer starting out that loves what you do, what would you tell them? Um, you have to just really believe in yourself because everyone starts at the bottom. You, you really, you know, that's how you learn. That's how you get better. Um, don't be afraid, but truly believe in yourself because that's the most important. And the second is, um, I often tell people to Sometimes people will be like, oh, you should, 
you should do this, you should do that, and, and I would sit there and be like, how? And I don't know how I could possibly do that. But if you actually just, sometimes like I said, knock, knock on a door versus like sitting there standing, waiting for someone to, to open it for you. If you just knock, um, oftentimes the door will open, but you need to be, you know, the one who's knocking, not just sitting there waiting and hoping. So I was totally I agree. Like you're in my head walking around and I'm like, I totally agree with you. So do you have any last words for anyone out there that wants to pick up your shoes or is in Paris or coming yeah. to LA? Um, I would say definitely if you, if you have time, check out our website, um, graymalin.com. Our Instagram is at graymalin. Um, and Colette is just the most fabulous store in Paris. So um, I'd encourage you to, to go have a coffee or a champagne, check out the shoes, check out my work on display. Um, it really feels like you're in a gallery of fashion there. So, um, and I hope that, you know, wherever you are in the world that somehow uh, you become a little bit more inspired after watching this. Okay. So how long is your exhibition going on in Colette? I believe until April 18th. Okay. So about mid-April. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Give me a kiss. <laughs> cool. I like to keep it short and sweet.